The drivetrain in both the R-22 and the R-44 helicopters are very similar. They're responsible for transmitting power from the engine to the main rotor and tail rotor systems. This system includes the clutch, the belts, the main rotor gearbox, and the tail rotor drive shaft. In the R-22, the engine power is transferred via V-belt's drive system. This system connects the engine to the upper sheath, which then transfers power through a set of belts to the main rotor gearbox and then down the tail rotor drive shaft. The V-belt system automatically adjusts the tension using a sprag clutch, allowing the main rotor to keep spinning even if the engine stops. It's called the freewheeling capability. The R44, on the other hand, uses a similar system, but with a few upgrades. It includes a robust belt drive system to transmit powers from the engine to the rotor system. The R44 design incorporates an automatic belt tensioner that ensures optimal belt tension through different phases of flight. Now let's talk about the main rotor gearbox. The R22 main rotor gearbox reduces the engine RPM to a speed suitable for the main rotor. It's a single stage gearbox located directly beneath the main rotor. Now let's talk about the tail cone and the rotor drive shaft. The tail cone houses the drive shaft that transmits the power to the tail rotor, essential for providing anti-torque control to the helicopter. In the R22, the tail rotor drive shaft in the tail cone is a long aluminum tube connected to the main gearbox via coupling. This shaft runs the length of the tail boom to the tail rotor gearbox. Flexible couplings at each end of the drive shaft allow it to flex with the tail boom during flight. The R44 tail rotor drive shaft system is more advanced, incorporating additional intermediate flex couplings and bearing support assembly along the tail boom. This setup reduces vibration and increases reliability. The tail cone itself is made of a semi-monocoque construction, meaning the rigidity of the tail cone comes from the skin itself. So if the skin is ever dented or warped, be very cautious. Maybe get a mechanic involved. Let's talk about the tail rotor gearbox located at the end of the tail boom, where it changes the direction of power from the tail rotor drive shaft to the tail rotor itself. The R44 is similar to the R22, but the R44's gearbox is designed to handle more power, making it more efficient at higher loads. The tail cone structure in both helicopters is not only protects the tail rotor drive shaft, but also contributes to the aerodynamic stability of the aircraft. The R44's tail cone is slightly larger and more robust bust, accommodating additional components like the bearing support assembly. This design improves the overall stability and control of the helicopter, particularly in forward flight. Recently, Robinson Helicopters has introduced a new epinage design for its helicopters. This redesign includes a symmetrical horizontal stabilizer placed ahead of the tail rotor, improving roll stability in high-speed flight and reducing the risk of mass bumping. This change stems from extensive research and simulations, revealing that the previous design's asymmetrical stabilizer significantly contributed to the right rolling moment under low G conditions. The new design is expected to enhance safety without compromising handling. For more details, you can check out the links below. In summary, while both the R-22 and the R-44 share many similarities in their drivetrain and tail cone systems, the R44's components are generally more robust and designed to handle greater power, offering improved performance and reliability. If you're ready to dive deeper into the world of helicopters, check out the free Getting Started Helicopter course in the description below. And as always, please feel free to like and subscribe.